What is up, y'all? Welcome to another fall day here in the state of Delaware. It's been feeling a lot like winter recently, but I guess it's technically still fall. We're gonna be filming a very highly requested video here today. So pretty much right now we are chilling here outside of Dick's Sporting Goods. And with us today, we have this here empty tackle box. She's looking a little lonely right now. She's probably a little hungry. Our mission is gonna be filling her up. So we're gonna be going in here to Dick's Sporting Goods. I'm gonna say we have a budget of like 20-ish dollars. And with that $20, we're gonna be creating our own fishing kit. Now it is a weird time of the year. I don't really know exactly what's biting. So we're gonna kind of make this like a multi-species fishing kit. But also we're gonna be kind of throwing a little twist in here. So pretty much we're gonna be putting some colors into a spin the wheel app. And whatever color we land on, that is the only color of lures that we could put into our fishing kit. All right, so we got red, yellow, blue, and pink. Pink. Let's see what we end up with here today. Okay, the wheel has spoken. So we're gonna be filling this guy up here with a bunch of pink lures, as much as we can get for $20. I don't really know how much stuff they're gonna have in here at Dick's that is, you know, pink. But then we're gonna take our pink fishing kit out to the water and see, you know, if anything is actually biting. It's been super weird weather. Well, hold on, really quickly before we go spend money, pretty much we're just going in here for the video, but this is really not like the best way to shop for tackle. So this video today is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle, but that's honestly where I probably get most of my tackle from. So if you guys are not familiar with Carl's, pretty much they have a membership called Carl's Club that gets you 30% off like everything on the site and also free shipping. And now actually, if you are a member of Carl's Club, you get access to their early holiday sale. This is honestly like a freaking huge sale rods reels baits the new uh googan mono kit literally so much stuff so much savings so if you guys want to head over there if you are not a carl's club member it is all good man all you gotta do they have a free trial over there for one month and if you sign up for that as i said literally free for a whole month you get access to the sale and all that good stuff so yeah you guys have heard me talk about it before i'm telling you go click the link in the description check it out there's a lot of cool stuff going on there and just you know money savings let me stop talking let's get in here at dick sporting goods let's go fill her up as always, good old Dix is rocking out here, blasting the freaking loud music. All right, where to start? Um, so I guess this is a good place to start. So let's see, pink. Pink is what we are after here. Hmm. Right away, actually, $1.99. Is that? Oh, no, that's not pink. I might pick up a pack of these crappy mags, because as I said, it is that time of the year where, like, you don't, you just don't know what's going to be biting. Do they have a pink color? Oh, yeah, that's pink, right? It's got a little bit of something else in it. We'll take it. Right behind that, actually, too. Jawbone Tackle, I think that's Dick's Sporting Goods brand. That is a pink curly tail grub. We're gonna pick that up too. Let's see what else is here. I kinda like this section. All right, so we got the bigger curly tail grubs. Hold on, let me put this down. I'm gonna pick up, oh gosh. On the right here, I'm also pick up like a smaller curly tail grub. This is just like one of those baits that's just- What's the word for it? Like so many species of fish will go after a curly tail grub. Super, super underrated lore. 132 ounce jig head. Yes, please. All right, then for the crappy magnet, I've never seen this before. This is a dollar 99 cent. This is a crappy magnet jig head, but it has like little feathers on it. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, so that was like really fast. We already spent, I think this is like $10, probably half of our budget here. I mean, I just gotta pick this up too. I'm picking up the crappy magnet. Gotta pick up a little trout magnet. This is pink. Ish. A lot of these lures are like pink slash white. I don't know. I'm gonna count that as pink. So far, we have an assortment of things where, I mean, like this, literally anything will eat these things. Let's see. Let's up our game a little bit and try to get like to the bigger stuff. Not pink. Hmm. It'd be cool to get like a pink lipless, but these are all expensive. I don't even know if there are any pink lipless crankbaits. These kind of challenges are not the best for color blindness. Pink finesse worms. Um, Luke style big bite baits. Those are only dollar ninety nine too. Hmm. Decisions. Decisions. Should we try to go finesse? Should we try to go loud? I know it's been really cold, so probably not anything really, really fast. We got some gotcha curly tail things. Those are 10 freaking, all right, we're gonna put those back. Hmm, is there any kind of finesse worm that is pink? These yum dingers are probably a lot cheaper. Are there any pink yum dingers? I mean, how can you have this color, let alone this color and not freaking pink? Dude, that is like the most obnoxious thing I've ever seen. Spinner baits, chatter baits, jigs. All right, so I've been looking around. I picked up, I mean, I'll show you guys when we get out of here. I think we're gonna be under budget here. And I think we're gonna give ourselves like one of the best possible possibilities to catch like a bunch of different species of fish. Hopefully that happens. I, I don't know what's gonna happen here. All right, so before we get it looking all nice and neat here in our little tackle box, let me show you guys all that we got here. So we got the crappy magnet, the trout magnet, the big curly tail, the small curly tail, 132 ounce jig heads, and then the little crappy magnet jig head with a little fuzz on it. Last but not least, we ended up going with this giant pack of bubblegum zoom trick worms. And then over here, this is pink, right? Fluke style bait. And then we picked up some three odd hooks for these two right there. Overall, I mean, it came to $24, but like, we're not gonna look at that. All right, dude, look at, dude, 
That looks like something that they'd, they'd like have pre-made. Like, let's get right over to the water. Yeah, that is so freaking sick, man. Mm, all right, let's see here. I think we're probably gonna start off small. I think I'm gonna graduate smaller to larger. We're gonna start off with this tiny little trout magnet here. 164 ounce jig head. This thing is like super small. We should, I mean, hopefully be able to catch something with this. All right, so as you guys can see, we're at a place that fished a couple of times on this channel before. There's actually a lot of people fishing over here. I put a little box down, but this right here, it's gonna be our little starting point. Let me see how cold this water is. That's gonna kind of dictate. Oh yeah. No, that is cold. We've been having really cold weather here in Delaware. This water has to be like, like that's definitely below 50 degrees. That kind of means a couple of different things. One, it might be tough to catch bigger bass. There are pickerel in here, so like, that's the thing. That could actually be pretty cool if we catch one of those. Pickerel bite in colder weather. I'm gonna toss this trout magnet around here. Pretty much this is like, hold on, let me show you guys. So up there, there's a bigger body of water and then there's like kind of like a little spillway that comes down here and it kind of flows down that way. This is kind of like an area of fish like to hang out in because it's not directly in the current. It's kind of like off the side a little bit and it's a little deeper like over here. So times I was here before, fish were over here. I don't know, like, I, I don't know. We're gonna see if we can jig anything up here. This is, this is starting off small, man. A tiny little trout magnet. I'm hoping that there's like some, I, I don't know. Probably should mention this as well. This is a super, super pressured body of water. As you guys saw, I mean, it's kind of like the middle of the day sort of here and there's already like so many people fishing. I mean, the reason I came here though is just so many different species of fish in this water. Oh, there's, oh, dude, dang it. That was something. That's fish. First fish of the day. What in the heck is this little guy? Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Come here, boy. Beautiful first fish of the day, dude. That is freaking gorgeous. Whew. All right, hopefully there's a school here. I'm gonna let this guy go. Thank you so much for biting, buddy. Get back down there. Oh gosh, that is not. There you go, buddy. Oh, there's something. What is that? Oh my gosh, dude. Boom, it's actually a pretty little guy. Let's let him go right there. All right, a lot of people here. Holy crap, there's a lot of people here. We got trout magnet accomplished. I'm gonna throw this around a little bit more. There's a fish. Is that another one? Blue? Oh, that's a bigger bluegill. Jeez. That's a freaking big bluegill, dude. Holy crap. On the trout magnet. These bluegill, they're thick, man. Ow, freaking ow. Jeez. It's a nice little fatty, though. Ow. It's got some spiny spines. Oh, dude, dude. I'm getting crushed. You see what I got on now, dude? I got a bunch of money. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what is that? Oh, second species of the day on the trout magnet dude this thing's putting in work oh my gosh a little hungry man all right second species of the day little trout magnet pink fishing kit get back in there boy grow a little bit all right so we're out here fishing with a few subs quinn peyton peyton and hunter yeah hunter and peyton and quinn i've seen them a couple times around here we fished together a couple times they were out here fishing we're hopefully somebody's gonna catch something pretty nice. I think I'm gonna switch over. Actually, no, I'm gonna throw the trap magnet a little bit under the spillway, but I think then I'm gonna start my way up. So far, so good. I mean, we're not getting skunk. My biggest, like the thing I really, really, really want to catch out of here today would be a nice little yellow perch. So if we could catch one of those today, man, that would be so freaking sick. All right, time for a little change here. I think we're gonna bump it up. 132 ounce jig head. I was using 164 ounce, and then we're gonna go with this guy right here smaller curly tail all right i'm not gonna lie that is looking good man trout man just served us well but i feel like oh, actually we gotta check how good this curly tail is not all curly tail grubs are the same see here oh yeah oh yeah dude that tail is something else all right i have a good feeling about this so pros to this this is a little bit bigger of a presentation might attract some bigger fish it's also you know a little bit heavier i could actually cast this around cover some more water and i mean like this is a lot more action on it i mean the trout magnet has a lot of action when you jig it but this, I mean, you just reel it. That tail goes freaking crazy. Oh my God. I just got nailed by something. I saw it dart away too. What the heck was that? All right, so quick update. This freaking 
little grub dude i've gotten bit so many times fortunately i have yet to land a fish um shout out to those kids that were here too by the way and uh their grandpas for always taking them out i saw them around like last year dude it's just awesome to see that like you know kids are out fishing oh yeah oh yeah oh my gosh all right little one as a, dude i was literally just saying that all right <laughs> freaking curly tail pink strikes yet again i thought that was a yellow purse like that is the perfect size and he's like a little yellowish greenish let's get back in there boy a little multi-species action i'm telling you guys though man i got bit so many times on this thing i don't know if it was just smaller fish i don't know if the fish are just like lazy because the water's so cold and not committing so here's our little feather jig we're gonna be switching to the crappy magnet i don't think i've ever thrown a crappy magnet before i've thrown a lot of times you guys see me throwing a trout magnet on this channel but i don't know if i mentioned this or not yet but it is chilly and it's just getting chillier nippier dude my fingers are so cold all right interesting so what this is this is just a bigger trout magnet and we got some fuzz Whew, all right so can we just take a second look at this right here oh my gosh dude that is literally a freaking postcard greetings from dinkerfest nah man this is freaking sick that is like oh my gosh that is so cool come on fish it's got to be something over here or the crap you're pushing out the bass the pickerel all right y'all so we are running out of light i mean i didn't have the most time to fish here today well that dude sunset is crazy all right so pretty much i've tried the worm and the fluke i don't know if i showed you guys that or not threw them around a little bit earlier for a good amount of time i dude i think this place is just way too pressured for like obnoxiously obnoxious big lures like that hey man at least we tried we're definitely gonna be using those in future videos trout magnet we got the crab magnet on right now and then yeah the curly tails man so that is i mean we're gonna stick it out here i don't know how much longer you know we really have a sunlight All right, so it is now the next day. I'm back at my parents' house right now. This box right here, I'm telling you guys, man, this thing's actually kind of legit. The cool thing about this box is that whether it's, you know, summer, spring, winter, fall, I mean, this box is good for so many different things. It's very versatile. Pretty much, I mean, that's how I rigged it. It's like a little fluke. Texas rigging the worm as well. No bites. I mean, I didn't throw these two around for very long. It's just, it, was, it was really tough fishing. I was at a spot where, you know, it's just not the easiest. One, because of like the time of year, the weather and stuff. And two, as I said, it's just so pressured. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it here for this video today. I know, I mean, we didn't really catch too many fish, but the time of the year, you know, it's you got to take what you can get, you know. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go down there, hit that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot to me. And circling back to Carl's Club, guys, look at this freaking shirt. This is actually sick, man. Look, the little gingerbread's got fishing poles. Easy, the little gingerbread. This is actually on the Carl's sale. So yeah, again, if you guys are interested in that, the link is in the description. Probably like the best way to buy bait. I actually have this right here. This is a Catchco crankbait I got off Carl's. I have fallen in love with these things. So yeah, if you guys are interested, link in the description below. This video right here is being uploaded on Sunday, November 17th. So that means the sale starts tomorrow, Monday, November 18th, if you are a Carl's member. And again, they do have a free trial for one whole month. So definitely like, if you're thinking about it, head over there, check it out. But yeah, man, that is pretty much it here for this video today. Again, thank you guys so much for all the support. I mean, again, we really didn't catch like anything super crazy giant. But just trust me, man, we got some really cool stuff coming on the way in the near future. And I mean, just catching fish in this weather, it's, you know, it's still a fish. So thank you again so much for all the support. Support. All I gotta say, man, is let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. Real quickly, new merch coming real soon. Stay tuned, man. But again, thank you guys for watching. See you next video.